What's up guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Uh, this Xcode tutorial is a follow on from my alert view tutorial and if you haven't seen that the link can be found here. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make the buttons on the alert view actually do something now. Um, so <clears throat> if we open up our alert view project that we've been working on. <clears throat> Sorry I got a cough. Now we need a label that will change text when we press one of the buttons. Uh, and we also need to make a button to generate the alert again because we're going to be testing it. So if we go into our .h and we go in between these two brackets here and add an outlet of the label. Start alert label. Like that. And then we'll also create an action down here called alert action. Like that, copy and paste this action into the dot m. Uh, yeah, just put it here. Open it up and uh, just copy and paste this alert that we made last tutorial into it. Like that, and now we are going to be creating the uh, a void that will read what uh, button is pressed and then do something about it. Now there are two ways of doing this, there's either reading the buttons as numbers or reading the buttons as text. Now each button has a number starting from zero, so the cance cancel button would be zero, so bad would be zero. Other button titles would then start from one up to two up to three, so okay would then be one and then good would then be two. Um, but for simplicity of this tutorial, I'm going to do it with text so we can understand what we're actually doing. Um, to do that requires a tiny bit of extra code, but it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so below the alert view uh, action, outside the brackets though, we're going to create a new void. So open parentheses, void, close parentheses, alert view, colon, open um, parentheses again, UI alert view, space star, uh, close parentheses, alert view, uh, then it's going to be space, and make sure you get your capitals right on this, clicked, button with a capital, at with a capital, index with a capital, colon, open um, parentheses, ns integer, in like that. Uh, don't need a star for that. Close parentheses and then it's going to be button index. And that's it, so open that up. Now basically what this is doing is uh, calling the alert view method from its actual subclass way way down uh, in, in deep in the code. <clears throat> and then it's asking for the clicked button at index, which is basically what button is clicked. And as I said, they're all labeled as numbers, so the NS integer is the number. Um, now, what we need to do now is convert this number into a text so we can uh, use it as text. So that's going to be NSS, NS string, sorry, NS string star, and that can be the button title. Oops, button title, space equals space, open uh, square bracket. Alert view, which is what we declared up here. Alert view, space, button, at button title at index, sorry, it should auto complete. And then it's going to be the button index, which is what we declared here. Uh, and then close the square brackets and semicolon. Now, if you wanted to use the numbers, you don't put this piece of code in and then just put numbers instead. Um, now we want to use an if statement to choose which button we want. So, so if, and then it should auto complete, open square bracket, button title is equal to string, and then we'll put bad for this one because it's going to be the bad one. So if it's equal to at open quotes bad, make sure you spell it exactly the same as you've put up here, otherwise it won't work. Then square, uh, close the square brackets. And then in here, we're going to change our labels uh, message, if you like. So it's going to be alert uh, label dot text space equals space. And then it's going to be 
I don't know, we'll call this um, clicked bad and then semicolon. So if you were using the method where you don't change it into a text, instead of having this here, you just put button index is equal to two equals for is equal to zero. So that means that if the button index, which is declared up here, is equal to zero, i.e. bad, then do this. Or if it's equal to one, then do this. So uh, if you are using that other method, then um, just remember you do that instead of what we're doing here. Um, now we're going to do an else statement. Else, but not, sorry about that, don't complete it. Else, and then if, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing. So button title is equal to string, and this time it's going to be OK. Uh, again, spelled exactly the same. Close the square brackets. In here, we're going to go alert label dot text space equals at open quotes clicked OK, and then close quotes. Oops, no, don't put those square brackets there. And then the last one's going to be else, just an else statement this time. Um, and then it's just going to be the last one, which is alert label dot text space equals space at clicked. What was it? Good. Yeah, clicked good. Oh, I can't spell today. <laughs> clicked good. Yep. And uh, semicolon. Um, so there you go guys, that's the kind of method that you use to call which button is being pressed. And obviously you can use this for many things like loading a different website for instance or doing something like changing an image or something like that. Um, but for simplicity again I'm just doing changing the labels text. Um, so save that and now we need to pop over to the .xib uh, to put in our, uh, our label and our action. So get our view and go over to the library and find a label and we'll drag that over to here and we'll make it a bit bigger in font um, if you don't know how to do this guys I have a tutorial on my channel for you so you can go watch that if you don't know what I'm doing and we'll change the font to marker felt right alright so there's our button and there's our label make the label a bit bigger so it can fit all the text on it when we call the text like that and uh, now we need to go to the file zone connections tab and alert label to label and alert action to generate alert and touch up inside so save that and uh, there you go guys that's all we need to do so uh, now we can build a run and see our new alert so here's the simulator here there's our app and as we click generate alert the alert will pop up and uh, if we click OK the uh, label changes to what we clicked and good and bad um, so there you go guys this is just a tutorial on UI alerts and how to make the buttons on them do stuff um, next tutorial I not quite sure what I'll be doing I think I'll be doing um, adding a text field in here so they can type in text whilst they're in the alert view um, which is you know quite useful I mean they use it for passwords and stuff on the like YouTube app for instance when you sign in on your iPod um, so yep if you like this video please comment right and subscribe and stay tuned for my other videos